Dear students, welcome to your English language online lessons. Today we are going to do our exercises on our activity book. But before, let's revise what we have studied last week. So last week we studied lesson 5. So as you can see in the pictures, we have studied the names of animals. We have cow, goat, rabbit, chicken, duck, and frog. Again, listen and repeat. Goat, rabbit, chicken, duck, frog, and the last, okay, the last word is frog and we have also cow now we have studied also grammar grammatical lesson which was haven't and hasn't okay this is the negative form of the present perfect which which is have got or have and has have got and has got so as i said this is the negative form of present perfect has got and have got and now let's start our lesson okay go or take your activity book page 28 activity book page 28 now, look and choose, okay, look and choose, okay, this is uh, the pictures of animals and you have a choice between two words, okay, one is already done, we have A, chicken, B, duck, so you look at the picture, it's clear it's a chicken, so two, picture two. Cow or goat? It's a B. Very good. So it's a goat. Good. Three. Is it a duck or a cow? Good. It's a duck. Look at the picture. It's a duck. Four. It's a frog or a fish? It's a frog. Excellent. Five. It's a rabbit or a duck? Look at the picture. It's a rabbit or a duck? Good. It's a rabbit. Six. It's a cow or a rabbit? It's a cow or a rabbit? Good. It's a cow. Make sure, dear students, you circle the answers. And let's move to exercise eight. Read and correct. So we have sentences and we have to read and give the right answers. So one, ducks have got four legs. Is this true? Of course not. So we say no, ducks haven't got four legs. They have got two legs. So two, cows have got small heads. Is this correct? No, cows haven't got small heads, they have got big heads. So, pause the video, my dear students, and try to do the exercise. Well done, and let's go on. So, three frogs have got small mouths. No, frogs haven't got small mouths. They have got big mouths. Four, chickens have got big heads. No, chickens haven't got big heads. They have got small heads. Five, rabbits have got small ears. No, rabbits haven't got small ears. They have got big ears. Nice. And the last sentence is 
Goats have got two legs. No, goats haven't got two legs. They have got four legs. Now, dear students, make sure you write down the answers in your activity book, page 28. And now, let's go to exercise 9. Read and circle, then answer. So, as I have explained before, we use have for plural and has for singular. And also have goes for I, you, we, they, and you. Has goes only for he, she, it, and singular. Okay, one is already done. Have she got a pet? Yes, she has. Two. Try to do the, answer, the exercise, please, before I give you the answers. Pause the video and do it by yourself. Good, dear students. Now, have you got a sister? No, I haven't. Three, have they got a rabbit? Yes, they have. Four, have we got a new teacher? No, we haven't. Again, make sure you write the answers in your activity book, please. And prepare yourself to go to another page, which is page 29, lesson 7. So, exercise 10. Look, read and complete. So, we have a frog. Okay. This is a frog. Let's complete this dialogue. I have got four legs, two big eyes and a very big what? A very big mouth. Excellent. What? I haven't got any hair or teeth. I can jump and I can swim. My favorite food is a small fish. I am a small animal. You can see me on a farm too. What am I? Am I a frog? Good. Make sure you write the words in your activity book and let's match the words. So, mouth, teeth, jump, fish, and far. Good. Match these words in your box, please. And let's go to exercise 11. Over to you. Look and put a tick or cross. Then write sentences. Use I have got or I haven't got. So let's do the first part of the question. So cross to the guitar. Tick to computer, tick to the dog, cross to the robot, and tick to the rabbit. So, as in the first example, we have a tick. So, means it's positive. So, you said, I have or I have got. I have got a bike. Cross. I haven't got a guitar. Nice. Three. Tick. I have got a computer. Well done. Four, we have a tick, which means I have got a dog. Cross means I haven't got a robot. Tick means I have got a rabbit. Well done, my students. And now, let's go to page 30. Page 30. Now, write have got or has got, then find the stickers. So the exercise is very easy. When you see a singular noun, you write has got. And when you have a plural, uh, a, yes, when you have a plural noun, you write has got. So one, Danny has got a big 
beg your hands. To what? Yes, we have got blue eyes. Three, my dog has got big ears. Four, my brother, good, has got a big nose. Five, they, excellent, has got red hair. And Jenny has got a small nose. Very good, my dear students. Now, let's do the second part of the question, which is, then find the stickers. You go to the last page of your activity book. You see the stickers, model 5, and try to put them here. Again, pause the video and read the sentence and try to find the suitable sticker. Well done, my students. And now let me give you the answer. Look. Yes. Okay. I. Danny has got big hands. We have got blue glasses or blue eyes. Sorry. My dog has got big ears. My brother has got a big nose. They have got red hair. And Jenny has got a small Nose. Make sure you do this exercise, please, and look for the stickers and stick them in your activity book. What I can say now is thank you so much for your attention and see you next week, inshallah. Goodbye.